Hello, Sofia. Hello, Alexei. Today, with Sofia, we will introduce you to our Miniraman spectrometers and we will unpack them and show all accessories they contain and how to attach them to Miniraman. So, Sofia, could you please help me to open the first box with the Miniraman? Of course. Oh, very nice. So it contains... Uh, this is a mini ramen. Yes, very nice. And USB cable, yes? Mm -hmm. Super, we can remove this box and open another one. This is a box with accessories, yes. First, it is a protection cover for the light, if you do measurements and you want to avoid contamination from outside environment, then we have several Raman probes. This is the contact probe, 8220 microns penetration depth. This is a set for liquid measurements. A service key, if you would like to open mini Raman and do some service procedures long working distance probe, paracetamol sample, so you can test the Miniraman performance, a contact probe with penetration depth 40 to 60 micron, sample screws, those are the screws which you can use to press the powder and using precise focusing accessory, you can then find the best distance and, and measure high quality Raman spectrum. Set for precise focusing, basically they would come together with the sample screws. Yes. A middle working distance probe. This one would go to our other probes, yes. A uh, short working distance probe and objective adapters. Those are the adapters which you can attach to mini Raman and then connect Olympus, size Nikon objectives. Uh, calibration screw. This is a screw with inbuilt polystyrene which you will use to check the performance of mini Raman. Contact probe for penetration depths 0 to 20 microns. Yes, and we also have the key. This key we supply together with sample screws, which you will press your powder to do the measurements. And finally, this is an extender, which you can use with any of our Raman probes to have extended operation. Very nice. And by the way, we also have one more document. If you receive mini Raman, oh, not in this box, in the second one. If you receive mini Raman, you will get inside the document. Certificate of quality for mini Raman spectrometer where you will get all details of Raman shift calibration accuracy, uh, polystyrene measured with our calibration tool with first laser, with the second laser, signature of the service engineer who did the testing. And this document you can use every time you are unsure with the mini Raman performance. So, Sofia, with the next step, let us open all of these accessories and see how we can attach them to the mini Raman. Okay. Uh, let's start with the props. Yeah. Yeah, let me help you. This would be the short working distance props. So basically you have mini Raman and you have short working distance probe. You screw it here and it's ready to work. Short working distance here, it's actually working distance is one millimeter. So you would measure all the samples 
at the focal point one millimeter from the body of the objective. So since we have it open, we can place it here. Uh, middle working distance probe. And by the way, every probe has protection leads. So in order to avoid any contamination. Middle working distance probe. Also we remove the protection leads. And it has the red dot. So you would not uh, miss it with, with some other probes. Uh, you just do a few screws and it's ready to work. And if you have sample here, that's how you can use our protection cover. You just cover the mini ramen and you can do measurements being protected from outside environment. Okay. Middle probe. Uh, let me select for you the long working distance probe. Thanks a lot. This is uh, leads. And it has a yellow dot. The same way you just screw it and you're ready to go. Working distance here would be 25 millimeters. It's written on the box. And uh, for the middle working distance, it's 10 millimeters. Also all written on the box. Then let's go for the contact props. Let's see how they look. Fantastic. So I open the leads and you can see contact probe allows you contact and you should not worry on contamination touching it by finger because it's actually used for the contact. But of course we recommend to clean it if you want to avoid any chemical contamination from one sample to another sample and it's ready to go. Uh, another probe would be also contact, but with deeper penetration. So this one was designed to measure samples with laser spot is approximately on a surface on a probe, but it will also penetrate because of confocality and numerical aperture up to 20 microns in depth. This probe designed in a way that it will actually not measure the contact material, but it will focus a little bit in depth, 40 to 60 microns, but it looks very similar. And the last one is deep penetration depth. Yes, if you can unscrew it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This one we attach the same way. And it will be 80 to 120 microns. This would be a very interesting application, three of them, if you would like, for example, to measure penetration of some chemicals through your skin. We have this as a very well established application using three probes at different penetration depths. You can see how deep chemicals get inside the skin or you can use that for measuring something through the plastic cover, for example. Okay, let's get to some other adapters. This would be objective adapters. Mm -hmm. Adapter number one, and you just attach it here. And then you are ready to connect Nikon objective M25 treat. And there is one more. Mm -hmm. We know that uh, objectives from Olympus, for example, and some other brands, they have RMS treat and this is RMS treat. So you, you screw it. We have M12 treat and then you are ready to attach your microscope objective. What would be the use case? Here we have also four screws to attach mini Raman to our precise focusing accessory or can you, you can attach it to whatever you want to control the focusing depth and then objective, you can precisely control the focus depth and do your measurements. So there is a possibility for those type of measurements. 
Okay, let's go for the liquid measurement set. Mm -hmm. There are several accessories. This is a tool to, thank you, to remove, add some adapters inside the accessory. I will show how to operate with it now. This is an accessory and with this tool we can remove spacers inside and adjust them at the proper distance. For example, we have a vial where we have a liquid. Then the next what we do, we select any probe, let's say middle working distance probe here and we attach on a probe our liquid measurement accessory and inside we place the vial and then we use lead to avoid any light contamination. And now vial with the liquid is inside and with this tool we adjusted the proper depths for the vial so we don't measure the glass, we focus inside the liquid. And then we press the button here and we collect the spectrum. Then we open the cover, remove wire, place another one and continue routine liquid measurements. Yes. Uh, logically would be this one. Thanks a lot. So here we have two cylinders with the thread and uh, in order to explain you how it works we may need something else. Sophia, could you please open the sample screws? Mm -hmm. Thank you, give me one. So here we provide normal M6 screws. And let's say you have powder which you want to measure and you want to measure it with precise focus. So you attach your screw here. Then you have a powder and you add it a little bit inside the screw. Then you have a key where you can actually press the powder and have, then you have flat surface with pressed powder. You screw it inside this cylinder and then when you have a probe attached to the mini Raman, you can use it like that. Let's say you turn on the laser and then when you rotate this insert, you will find the maximum of Raman signal. That's where you can stop and do measurements in any exposure time you wish as long as you wish. Yes, and logically would be now to look at the calibration screw. Yep, it's just one screw, but not that simple. Inside we inserted and glued polystyrene. It's our calibration material, which you similar to another screw attach inside and focus the same way. And you will find that at certain distance of alignment, of adjustment, you will get the maximum signal of polystyrene. And then you open our certification, certificate of quality, and you should get Raman spectrum very similar to this one. If it is less than was measured during calibration on a factory for both lasers, you can return back to us and we will help you to reach the maximum performance. You can also test, of course, the wavelength calibration accuracy with polystyrene peaks. Okay, we have two more accessories. This is a service key, actually two service keys. I can help and you can work for this one. 
inside we have two keys. So the first key you will use to open the cover. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> yeah. And the second key you will use to align the laser to get the maximum signal. Of course, this is a service procedure and may be needed if you drop mini Raman on a concrete, for example. So this is something that we can recommend for very advanced users. Otherwise, of course, please ship it back to us. Ah, yes, so service keys we also show here. And the last box was paracetamol. Paracetamol in a bag and we also provide the spectrum of paracetamol measured with us in the factory. And here, of course, we recommend the contact probe 0 0.20 microns. And you just touch the back with paracetamol and you should get spectrum as it was measured in a factory. Very high quality spectrum of paracetamol at less than half a second. Let me back the contact screw here, contact probe here. Okay, then we have this key to press the powder into the screws and we have USB cable, the final accessory extender. Let's say you want to measure something which not allow you to get mini ramen inside, liquid in the bottle or something else. And you can attach our contact probe or middle working distance probe here and get inside the bottle or some other samples. So this is just an extender. And we are done with unboxing, explanation of multiple accessories that we have. You can see that mini Raman would be with, in a maximum configuration with up to 20 accessories. In the next video, of course, we will show operation with all of this set of accessories in detail. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Sophia, for helping me. Bye-bye. Yeah.